G'day everyone, this is Sam, and today I'm making this video because it has been requested quite often to stream, and in private messages, 3G was to game. This is a video in which I explain to you how to make a spreadsheet in which to input all the calculations to actually make profit in Guild 2. So this is going to be my Guild 2 trading, how to make a spreadsheet, series 1. That's a rather long name, but it's kind of accurate, because there will be more videos. So, in this video I will just be showing to you how to import data from an API to your, well, let's say Excel, because I'm going to use Excel, but you can also use free programs like OpenOffice.com. I will be using Excel because I actually have a license for it, which was rated by the school. And if you don't have a license for it, it's quite alright, you can just use Coke. You cannot, however, use the dumbed-down version of Excel, that's uh, the version you get like in the starter pack, something like that, because uh, it would be missing the data part to import data from the internet. So let's not lose any more time and let's get on our main subject, which is me showing to you how to import data and choose spreadsheet and how to start your trading. Get started with this guide. So here is just a basic new document in Excel. I apologize in advance because I'm actually using the French version of Excel, but I can choose that pretty much nobody is going to be using same version as me but I am going to be changing the language for the version just for one video and um, you guys should be able to, uh, to like understand the differences pretty easily and it's actually like kinda the same thing so what I'm going to be showing to you is how to import the data from the Gilwars 2 Spidey API which is itself importing it from Gilwars 2 uh, API itself and how to set up your spreadsheet so that the data you want gets in the place you want it to be and how also to get rid of all the useless data that will obviously be common from the API. So the first step is you select the upper left uh, case in your spreadsheet. You go to data, you go to from text file, that's uh, import external data from a text file. That, that could be weird, like you guys could be thinking, yeah, actually, it's weird. You guys could be thinking it's, it's gonna be from the web, but actually, no. It's from a text file, that's how you do it. So there, you put the path to the Ghost to API, uh, the Ghost to Spy the API, and uh, you put the link to the part you wanna import. So we're just gonna import all of it. Like, freaking all of it. So the link is the following, and I'm gonna be adding it in the uh, YouTube description as well as an example of a spreadsheet. So you guys can uh, can get started without having to do that much effort. But it's, it's kinda interesting for later on when you wanna customize your own spreadsheet. So then you do open, and it's gonna start working. At this point, do not panic. Okay, so there, you can say MS those, that's a problem. Continue, and then you go for the third choice. Actually, commas. It's not tabs, it's commas. So you go for commas. Then you go for following, and then you choose which columns you want to import and which you don't want to. This is the name of the item. Rare and restriction level, that is actually useful uh, when you want to sort your items later on. Because that's some of the stuff you want to be doing when you will be doing some very precise calculations on how to flip certain items, you want to be able to sort them, so you should actually keep these columns. The next step is the, uh, the pictures. We actually do not give a fuck, so we're not going to use that column. Then is uh, the type ID, subtype ID, keep that. The last time the price changed, keep it. Max offer, minimum sale, you want to keep both of them. Offer ability, sale ability. Uh, seriously, I, I don't really care about this. Uh, it could be interesting for some flipping, but uh, you, you guys don't really need it for the first step of the spreadsheet. If you really want to go hardcore, you might want to keep them for just the first step. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. We're, we're also not going to take the sell price change and offer price change. We're just going to make it basic. For you guys. Then you click finish. Add to that part properties. Now you can choose. How often you you want it to update? Ask for the name at each update. No, you want to remove that or it's gonna bug. How often you want it to uh, to update? 
just just for you to know, the Gidors to supply the API from which we're taking the data updates every five, every 15 minutes. So you could go for 15 minutes as well, because uh, it ain't gonna change that that often. I personally went for five minutes just to be sure, uh, because sometimes it actually feels like it goes faster. But let's go for 15 minutes for the sake of the bit. And press OK. And you press OK, and then you wait, and tada! It happened. It just happened. Every item in the game is now available in your spreadsheet. It can update itself. So it's like almost 30,000 items. Probably even a bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's 26.5k. The uh, data ID column is not really that interesting. Uh, I choose to keep it, but you can seriously get rid of it. I thought it was something different. But you're quite alright even without it. Uh, all that matters is the uh, the number of the column there. So now that you've got this, you might be thinking, why the fuck do I get numbers everywhere? What does it mean? And I'm gonna be saying, no problem. These numbers are pretty damn simple. It's just that instead of being like gold, silver, copper, it's actually just a big number. So for example, when you read 30, it's 30 copper. When you read 1,101, 1, it's actually 11 silver, 0 and copper. When you read that, it's 3 gold, 27, 10 copper, etc. So if you want the price in gold at the end of the day, you want to divide it by 10,000. So we're going to get to that point later on. So that's, that's our first tab. Let's call it databank. There we go. Then make a, first, a second tab. Let's call it investment. Okay, so now let's let's make it pretty simple. Let's say um, item name, uh, price bought, uh, break even point. That's actually interesting. Um, current offer then we could put um, profit so we're we're kind of good now so let's say item them let's say let's say I bought uh, yeah I'm gonna make actually a zodiac staff, staff skin giveaway so let's say I bought a zodiac staff Okay, pretty damn simple. So it extends. So let's say I bought that. Let's say I was a very clever boy and I actually remembered to buy it, but it was cheap. So let's say I bought it for 70 G back in the days. Okay, so break even point. Break even point is pretty simple. It's the price at which you get your money back when you are trading on the Gilwash to Trading Post. And there is always 15 percent of the same price in fees that go to even Nashblade, our Lord and Savior. That 15 percent is something you will never get. It goes like 5 percent into the listing, 10 percent into uh, selling fees. So what you're thinking right now is at which amount you will start making coin. It's, it's just for you, it's just out of curiosity, so you can see how the item evolves during the time. So it's pretty damn easy, you do equal that value divided by 0 0.85, 85, like this. So the break-even point is that, and now you're seeing something pretty damn fucking annoying. You see that there are way too many numbers, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. Uh, yeah, format. Numbers. Number of decimals, four. And that's it. There. So now we only have four numbers after the comma. And I'll show you 
the easy stuff. So, break even point is 82 gold, 35 silver, 29 copper. You could actually, if you're more good than me, make it appear as gold, silver, copper. But for all the calculations, I find it just fucking annoying. I wouldn't do that. Current offer. The current offer is the price that's being offered right now for it. So let's do equal. We go back into data bank. We do a control F. And now we search the name of the item. So Zodiac Staff. Enter and we see Zodiac Staff skin. So now we go to the right column, which is the last one, because that's the current sale offer. So we copy Pasterin right into that. And we divide by 10,000. So we get a pricing gold. And we see the pricing gold is there. And now, profits. What are profits? Profit is equal current offer price times 0.85 minus the price at which we fucking bought it. Enter. There is a profit well, 202 gold. It's pretty damn good. So that's how you that's how you do the stuff. So I'm gonna close that and remake it just quickly so you guys see how it's done. So I'm not gonna get an X. Microsoft X. So new thing. Data. Import from text file. Think open. Then uh, continue, commas, continue, don't distribute, keep, keep, distribute, keep, 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 Mother of data. We are connecting to the Russian spider blah, blah. There, we got everything. So, we're back to having everything there. It's pretty amazing. We call that data bank. This is the one I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna keep for you guys later on. Now, I'm gonna add that in the uh, description of the video so you guys can actually use it. So, Let's put a cap here, so you guys actually be happy with it. So, date. Date. Item name. Price. Break. Even. Point. Break even point, current offer. Or I could just put current price, actually. Uh, current value. I actually forgot to add quantity. Current price, current value, uh, profits. So date, let's say 24, because that's that's actually two days later. 24, 21, 15. Item name, something that just came out. We're gonna go for modern stuff. Modern. Modern, Gretchen's Let's say we're buying it on Bioverse. We actually bought it to that price. Copy. It's more drab. Gross skin. Quantity 1. Price bought. 
divided by my equal no break even point equals 0 0.85 times that current price that was a big mistake for myself b2 divided by okay. current price equals base bank moving red sweat skid bad price copy pasterino divided by 10k current value equals that tech times 0 0.85 so that's the gold we would get right now if you sold it profits equal 0 0.85 times that times that minus that it goes there you made two gold if you want to flip it and stuff whatever so there Pretty damn easy, I'm just gonna leave this part here, you can change it however you like. You've got the uh, the calculations there, that's the important part, that's the thing that you can actually be interested in if you're gonna replicate it later on. There's a strategy. You can add more tabs, let's say a, um, a crafting tab, uh, a, uh, I don't know what, uh, a flipping tab. I, I mostly use my spreadsheet to track my investments. That's that's the main reason why I use it. So let's save that one for my computer on the desktop, and we're gonna call it uh, basic spreadsheet for university. There. That was pretty nice. If you have Issues with the data at any time. Data. Properties. Remove ask for the name at a date. You are dated every 15 minutes. That part is important. Now we're good. Wanted to actualize right now? Update now. It's updating. Did the price change? The price didn't change. But there you go. And here we have it. Oh yeah, we also we also said we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, go through. Until uh, numbers four decimals. That's perfect. That's pretty nice. So, boys, that's the end of uh, the tutorial. I just said boys, but I'm also thinking of you girls, even though uh, they are actually not that many. Of you. So, I hope that it was simple enough for you. And uh, if you have any question about it. Feel free to ask me, either in game or on YouTube. I will try to answer all the comments, and actually, I will answer all the comments because it's not like there will be many people asking questions about that. Uh, you can start voting for the content of the next video. Like, should I go for how to make a flipping tool? Should I go for how to solve the data? Should I go for troubleshooting? What to do if my spreadsheet doesn't work? Should I go for uh, I don't know, how to make a proper crafting calculator or whatever? You guys will be telling me about this in the comments section or everywhere or on my stream or on the YouTube or something, whatever. You guys tell me what you want next. And since I am on holidays for one week, I will try to make that video happen. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the spreadsheet skeleton. I hope you can start your trading actually keep it in track of your trading and I wish you all a very good night it's 4.30 a.m. and I'm pretty damn gonna go to bed as well <laughs> um, so yeah hope you enjoyed it leave me a like if you did 